Hello, this is T Chapman 500. Welcome back to Logisim Evolution. I have some bad news concerning this 16-bit CPU. I'm going to have to cancel uh, or um, postpone the project indefinitely because of a memory alignment bug with the RAM module towards the upper right-hand corner of the screen. I have a 32-bit data bus going into the instruction register so that I can load the instruction plus the extra data in one clock cycle and so that I can load the floating point unit. The problem is that this only is possible when the memory alignment or when the address is a multiple of four as it is right now. So this is a post commentary by the way. I'm going to be advancing the clock forward and having the address, having the selected bytes in the RAM changed. There goes one cycle. I think I'm actually going to be resetting it though. Yeah, there. So I'm going to advance the clock forward and you're going to see that when the program counter is not a multiple of four, the data bus gets an error. So here's the general purpose registers. The program counter is the last register in the stack as I delete a stray not gate. So that's the program counter. It's blended in with the rest of the general purpose registers. And I did this to kind of remove the separation between the general purpose registers and the address register, of which the program counter technically is an address register. And um, as I advance the clock forward, you're going to find that the program counter gets a value of 7, which is going to cause the error because it's not a multiple of 2. Notice a multiple of, oh wait, a multiple of four. So when the address register is not a multiple of four, that's when the error happens, as you can see. Now in real life, RAM modules can access all of the bytes, say four or eight bytes, depending on if it's a 32 or 64 bit RAM module regardless of whether the address that is given to it is a multiple of four. In Logisim Evolution, H or HCE, you can't do this. So I'm probably going to be reporting a, I'm probably gonna be making a bug report and I'm probably going to try to fix the bug myself just to get the project started sooner, but I am not that familiar with Java or Logisim source code, so that might take a while. And I'm also not really anticipating that they will um, fix it on their own very quickly. So this project is suspended indefinitely until this memory module bug gets fixed. In the meantime, I'm going to be doing videos on other topics and um, well, we'll see what happens and we'll see how soon I can get back to this four byte, um, four byte, this uh, 16 bit CPU. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I guess that's it then. This is T Chapman 500 signing off.